Hello, this is Miguel Pina with Squad and welcome, Kerbal Space Program fans, to the Point22 release features video. This update is mostly focused on the new R&D system, which will be a cornerstone of career mode. R&D is about managing two new concepts, data and science. Data can be collected by performing experiments all over the solar system with specific parts, such as the brand new science base. See those antennas extending on that path? They're no longer just for show, they now work as one of two ways to get data back to Kerbin, the other being bringing your vessel back home. But science base aren't the only way to gather data in Point22. There is our crew report, only available to manned vessels. All experiments are context sensitive, and as you can tell, our brave Kerbals have looked down at Kerbin and took note of just how round it is. Once we've collected our data, all we need to do is click on the path, start the transmission, and wait an instant for our data to be sent back home. Here you can see another science vessel at work, this time with more than one science module. That's a specimen container, which is great for exposing all sorts of Kerbin wildlife to space conditions and radiation otherwise not available in Kerbin. As you can see, you can collect data from several modules at once, greatly increasing the science payout for your mission. What's that big, busy-looking building? Why, the new R&D center, where your hard work and data gathering gets turned into precious, capital S, science. In this building, you'll find the other half of the R&D system, the tech tree. An easy-to-use, logical progression of careful research to unlock newer, shinier parts for braver, crazier missions. There are currently 42 tech nodes containing a few parts, each to be unlocked by spending science. Plus a few we threw in specifically for mothers to throw in their mods if they don't think they'll fit into the existing ones. Ever make a particularly awesome lander, rover, or a part of a vessel that you just found super useful and you wish you could just save that bit and use it for everything? Well, wish no more. Introducing the very first editor enhancement, sub-assemblies. This new part of the editor allows you to save specific sections of space planes or rockets for future use, without having to ever take apart a giant craft to get them. In the same way that you can save complete crafts, sub-assemblies allow for naming and descriptions for easy categorization. The new system is deeply accurate, saving everything down to the location of the smallest strut and the most finicky fuel line. And that's not all you can do with that new editor enhancement, as sub-assemblies are saved in a shared pool between the vehicle assembly building and the space plane hangar. Let's say you've built a fantastic space plane, and now you want to launch it just like they used to with the shuttle, strapped to a giant booster. Now you can. And of course, it's not just for space planes. Build a kick-ass rubber and want to strap it to the same booster just because you can? Go for it! We hope you've enjoyed this preview of some of the features in Update.22. To keep in touch with the development of Kerbal Space Program, follow us on all of our media channels. Thanks for watching and blast off!